Hi everyone, welcome back to A Better Biomed. Today I'd like to go over just a fast and simple topic about leak testing anesthesia components and making jigs to create those tests. So what we have here is a GE anesthesia component. I have a absorber and a moisture separator. And this one was believed to be faulty so it was removed from the equipment. It's been sitting here in my office uh, because I couldn't quite find the correct jig to test it appropriately. And what I ended up doing is I found some of these vital signs, pressure infusers, a whole stack of them laying around in the corner. So I nabbed one of them. The pressure infuser normally consists of a solid hose that comes down to a T and a pressure bulb. So I cut the hose and I teed in an orange dingle hopper. And I have a orange plug for the other port. You can see, you can pressure one port, but the other one has to be occluded. So here we are, it's set. Now this one supposedly had a 750 milliliter leak, which is pretty considerable. So the convenient piece of this pressure infuser is that it has a built-in millimeter of mercury gauge. So you can have a visual indicator of how fast your leak is. I'll pressurize it until it gets to 150 millimeters of mercury and then I'll go ahead and close off the valve. I'll leave it right at 150 millimeters of mercury. You can see how fast it leaks based on how fast the scale goes back inside the, the housing. And when I started pressurizing this unit, I could hear a little hissing down here at this end. Now this is the, the moisture trap for the moisture separator and it's got a relief valve that you normally will empty out at the end of a long case. There'll be uh, a bunch of moisture in this reservoir. There's a little hissing right here at this lip seal. This plastic reservoir is held in by a silicone seal. Now the silicone seal, you can see it right here, it starts to bloat because I have 150 millimeters of mercury pressing on it but it was actually blown out. And this will happen when somebody impacts the bottom of this uh, moisture separator. You know, sometimes it's hard to, to find where that leak's coming from. But with a simple jig of using an orange rubber dingle hopper connected to one of these pressure infusers, I can quickly and very easily see how fast my leak is and I found where the leak was at. I can also use this jig to find out if I have bad stock for these uh, CO2 absorbers. Now often what the staff will do is they will pop a CO2 absorber on, they'll run the leak check on the machine, and then if it leaks they'll throw the, the breathing circuit out and they'll also take this absorber off and they'll just throw it away as well. And by saving them and hooking them up to a pressure jig like this, I can actually save lots of money in throwing away consumables. So there you go guys, uh, this uh, simple pressure checker jig, you can use this for various things, you can even use it on things like uh, vaporizers, but it's, it's a portable and easily stowable jig that you can use to pressurize various medical devices. Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed it.